Hello everyone and welcome back to Terrarium and Crafts. Today's video is part of a challenge hosted by Deco Easy and Ginger Chick Rehab. Once you're done watching my video, check the description box for their playlist as well as their channels. For our first gnome, I'm going to be making a full gnome. You can also use this for Halloween, but I will be making a witch gnome after it, which would be more suitable. So you're going to start off with a card. This is going to be the foundation for both our gnomes. I'm going to take some napkins, these ones here. I thought they are quite nice for fall and autumn. So what I'm going to do is just stick it down with my glue stick. You can use Mud Purge. And then I'm going to create like a cone. So when you get your napkin out, you want to remove all of the other layers so that you've just got one layer. Sometimes they have two or three. This one's just got two. I'm just going to trim its size now. And now we're ready to create our cone. So I'm just rolling it up again and then we're going to glue it. Now we're going to create a bottom for it and stick some rocks on it just so that it's nice and stable. Now to make the hat I'm going to make use of a card that I've already cut. I'm just going to cut across it and make another cone. Then you want to cover the card with some material. I've got this burlap. So we're just going to stick it down, cut its size and then stick it down. Now I'm wrapping it around like a little mini cone and then we're going to stick it down and cut it. Now I'm making the arms, I've made one already. All I'm doing is taking scrap pieces like this, folding them over with hot glue and then there you have it, you've got an arm. I'm also going to add the wooden beads for the hands. Now I'm just adding a little bit of detail to the bottom of the hat. I'm using this twine. I'm just going to cut its size. Now we're going to glue the hat onto the body. And then the arms on the side, just underneath the hat. For the gnome's beard, I am taking this fur colour and I'm just going to cut it and you can see it's already got a nice beard shape going on there. It always looks way better when you add the beard. I'm going to attach it now with my hot glue. I'm going to be making the gnome's nose using clay and you can just use a wooden bead, a pom-pom, anything really that you have that just looks like it can fit for a nose. <laughs> I'm going to secure it again with my hot glue. I'm just going to add in a little bit of detail so I'm going to have the gnome holding these, three of these. So we're going to start by gluing these together. And now we're ready to glue them onto his hand. And here's the first gnome done. Isn't he just adorable? I was actually going to stick a little miniature pumpkin in his other hand and a golden brooch to his hat, but I just looked and thought it was maybe too much, so I took them away and I decided that less is more. 
for our second DIY we're going to be creating a Halloween witch gnome and I'm going to be making this the same way that I made the full gnome so out of some card and I'm also going to use these stripy Halloween tights so you're going to start by making your foundation making the cone like funnel and then you're going to create the bottom you're going to measure it to size cut it and before you stick it make sure you add those stones because you want it nice and stable that way it won't knock over now we're going to take our tights and we're going to cut them to size so let's bring back the cone so we can get a rough estimate. I'm just putting it on the tights and then I'll probably cut from here. Now you're going to attach it to the top with your hot glue. Now we're going to be moving on to making the arms and to do that all I'm going to do is roll up the tights a little bit two or three times and then I'm going to hot glue it and cut it. So for now I'm going to put my two arms aside and I'm going to place a hat on. Now for the hat I am using a cat or dog hat here for dressing up in size small to medium. And you should be able to find these easily considering it is almost Halloween but if you can't you can just make your own hat like how I showed you in the first gnome. And for the hair you can also improvise and use a Halloween wig. Just cut some bits off and hot glue it on. I'm just going to cut off the velcro bit there. Now I'm going to stick the hat on with my hot glue and then I kind of want some of this hair at the front. So I'm going to bring it forward a little and just stick it down. So you want to bring back her arms now and where you want to glue it is just under the hat right there and for the hands again I'm going to be using these round wooden beads. Now we're going to be creating the witch's nose and to do that I'm going to use some modelling clay and I'm going to go for a green colour. I've actually chosen a colour that goes with her hair so now all I'm going to do is try to mould it into a witch's nose. I had to google what a witch's nose looked like so yeah I'm happy with the result now and I think I'm going to add maybe a little wart and to make the nostrils I just took my fingernail and just made like a little engraving sort of thing for the extra detail. So here's my little wart. I think I'm just going to secure that on with some hot glue and then I'm going to attach it to her body again with hot glue. And where you want to stick it is right in the centre, under the hat. To finish our witch gnome, I'm going to attach this miniature broomstick to her hand. And here's the completed witch gnome. Let me know what you think of her in the comments below. I don't know why I find her quite cute, even though she's meant to be a spooky witch. I hope that you have enjoyed watching, I know that there are so many gnome videos out there now but I just wanted to make them with my own spin and show you that you can make them out of card because I haven't seen anyone do that so far. It's just a really cool, easy, quick way to make these. It's super inexpensive and everyone's pretty much got card so I thought that it's really accessible and you can recreate these yourself. Thank you so much for watching, bye!